more. This could, this could generate a lot more income. And a lot of these doctors that are now employees for hospitals, if they would have uh, instituted some of these models that they can bill, they wouldn't be an employee for a hospital. It's a, it's a terrible thing to watch. And by the way, worse is after five years when they get evaluated by the hospital and the hospital says, you haven't ordered enough tests, so we're going to cut you loose. And they've lost their practice. They've lost everything they've done. It's gone because they didn't order enough tests, even working for the hospital. And the hospital is demanding it. Right. So... Yeah, well, hopefully, hopefully in this meeting today, again, I'm, I would be interested because, you know, we've talked about the therapeutic and the diagnostic side of it. I don't know the business side of it, of what the CPT codes generate and what it actually is as a, you know, and because again, the bottom line, you just, you just brushed on it. The bottom line is what really drives a lot of these decisions here. And I hope somebody speaks to the potential of what it does if there's like 100 patients a month 20 patients a month because you I mean it's, up the it's of trying average to reimbursement of 350 dollars i mean I've, I've told you that many times it's, it's three cpt codes average reimbursement of 350 dollars these guys are having trouble in michigan because one of the cpt codes is not getting reimbursed and it's causing you know it, it makes their their model it cuts the reimbursement in half um, and with, with them, they're doing an on-site testing model, which is similar to what you were looking at doing, Rick, um, that uh, where they do some, they do a fee for service from the physician. And so without that margin, it, it, uh, it can cause um, the, 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 it gets skinny. Uh, we have Chris on the line. Chris, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, great. Doing? Hey, listen, you came into the, 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 the hornet's nest. I, we've got Jay and John on, and they're pissed because this uh, reimbursement in Michigan is just not coming through, and they don't want to go find a neurologist to, to, uh, uh, to take a look at the, the interpretation. So I'm hoping that you might have something to say. Um, By the way, well, <laughs> the only, you know what's going to happen? Yeah, you know, I sent. The, here's the irony of things. So I got an updated Mac listing, <laughs> and they're saying that they're going to update the Mac to, and it's not done yet. But there's a lot of different proposals. I sent this to Tom. I sent it to Jim. What it does, it breaks. Yeah, it, so. It, it looks like NGS is going to finally go into Michigan, but it's not there yet. It's just not there. It's a J6. And if you look at, um, there's not a J6 yet out there. It's under, um, it's in the process of getting updated. So. That's the only silver lining, but in Michigan, no. I mean, if they don't want to get, um, um, you know, if you don't want to go down the road with neurology, then that's kind of what you're stuck with. They're just a totally different beast. Before, Indiana and Michigan were WPS, which is Wisconsin Physician Services. That's the Medicare carrier there now. And that's why you're having those issues. So you're saying a new Mac is taking over? Uh, yeah, I sent Tom a copy of it. I sent it to Jay. And he's got a... I can okay, bring it up Jay, on the so screen. You, yeah, why don't you bring up the map itself? Okay, hold on one second. It just seems like we were there two years ago. By the way, Chris, we're we're getting ready to uh, start marketing a cash model uh, in uh, Michigan. I I used to sell to chiropractors. Uh, they cannot bill any of the three codes, and so they would be good for a cash model. You have concierge doctors, direct care doctors, and we're going to try marketing a a, a a program for for a cash model. 
because we we got so burnt out chasing the uh, billable model that uh, we we're now looking at the cash model. Yeah, if you look here at the map, United States. You'll see where it says J6 NGS, and that includes Michigan. Um, so they're going to, that's coming down the pike. There's other things that are changing too. Um, New York State is NGS, and we don't have the issues that uh, WPS has. It looks like WPS is going to be a J8 that shows it right there. So things are changing in the future. Uh, but for right now, I mean, WPF, that's just the the way they roll. They're not, um, they're the ones that create those um, um, roadblocks. So this map says J8WPS, but you're saying J6NGS is going to take that section over? Yeah, that's what it says right there. Uh, maybe not, maybe on slide one. Yeah, that's the, the math's proposed, but if you look at where you're at right now today, right now today, right. you're today, right now, you're at eight. You're right. not at this map. So these are proposed. But right now you with WPS. So you're showing us an old map and telling us that map's gonna change sometime in the future. It's not this is not an old map. This is that they're proposing. It says as of June 2021. Uh, I see yeah, June I 21st and I see J8 WPS. Yeah, but if you if you look at the uh if you look at the guide, the grid, it still includes it in eight. Is that this one right here? Yeah, that's that one right yeah. there. Eight Indiana, Michigan. So right now so, we're just with Indiana and Michigan. Yeah, so all the states are broken into the different Medicare carriers. There's a, there's a handful of them. But then the ones right. above are for uh, DME. Yeah, we're familiar with B from our old medical equipment days, but this... I mean, to mention something to Rick, somewhat related to what he said, off the record of this, Remember, providers are practicing medicine, and if you go back to med school, they didn't spend a lot of time on the nervous system. So when would they have figured it all out? They they're not. So yeah. you have to show it to them. And I think that's even neurologists, probably... yeah, even neurologists, they run very few tests. They're they're a, they're a medicine. They're they're looking for the next prescription. I mean, as far as I know, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know. I've been to quite a few neurologists in my day, not me personally, but I've been with my parents, and I haven't seen a lot of tests run by them. Who is this, Rick? This no, is John. That was John. Oh, yeah. So, John, you know, um, I'm in the uh, neurology um, environment, and, you know, I mean, the group's all the groups that we represent, I mean, they're doing nerve conductor studies, they're doing uh, Botox uh, for uh, migraines, they're doing pain blocks, they're doing sleep studies, they're doing EEGs, uh, I said nerve conductor studies, and some of the bigger practices have their own MRI, MRAs, uh, and they do it uh, within their, their uh, practice. So they do a lot of testing outside of ANS. I was going to say you forgot one important one that we're supposed to be talking about. <laughs> yeah, the, well, you do it, but you're talking about the other tests being done. No, that makes up the practice. You know, the evaluation and management of of, um, of patients, you know, they've got new and they've got established, but they have a lot of different tests than they do. Well, here, this is one thing um, I was going to say to you, Jay, if, you're, if you guys are, this might be another benefit to the cash model. And this is what uh, where peace can come in and help um, is where basically the TM flow, not only, um, you know, it, if you take out the fact that it reimburses, it also um, is a medical validation for all of these other tests right here. So that might be another kind of angle uh, to share with the physicians is like, look, you know, use this test as a baseline 
and and then now um, these this is this test is your is your medical validation for ordering these other tests, which they might have more luck with in terms of the full reimbursement. Um, so that's another tool I think is really powerful that that has come into my repertoire in terms of in terms of sales uh, over the last year since working with these guys is that this you know this this has uh, the the ability to um, expand the care for a patient. Absolutely. I mean, once again, you look at the MRIs, you look at the EEGs, you look at the nerve conductive studies, you look at small fiber neuropathy. Um, and if you set the, uh, uh, the um, if you establish, you know, the diagnosis for those, um, then uh, they can go ahead and order those additional testing. So there's value in, in what the ANS does in your neck of the woods. Um, you're challenged with, um, you know, WPS. And that's always been a challenge up in that area. As long as you have WPS. Now, if it changes the NGS, well, New York State is NGS. But I think that may be a great model for you to pursue. That PowerPoint you have, that's the PEACE platform? Yeah. Okay. Is that something we'll have access to? Because this is the first I've seen this. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, Jay's been on every call. Um, so. Um, I haven't well, seen this. Oh, well, this is just the. Well, look, let me show you that what you've seen. Um, this is just marketing material right here. Um, but essentially, uh, hold on. Let me do this. Essentially, this is the same thing as this. So you've seen this before. This is the, this is the report. So this is the section of that report right here. So you get your diag. This is the streamlined diagnosis, right? Um, like TM flow report goes in, and now you're seeing these are the main issues on the report, and then additional recommended diagnostic tests based on the conditions of the patient. And this is where you see it, additional testing, and it gives you the code that, that is um, validated for that. And then the doctor can choose if he wants to do any of this. So like it says, there's nerve damage. Uh, the, the, the report suggests a potential for a nerve conduction study or electromyography cause similar. Oh, yeah. So, electro, a nerve conduction study and angiography, stress test, nerve conduction study. So, so, that's essentially the part of the report that I think is the most valuable, other than the idea that these ICD 10 codes have been. Um, identified and, and um, correspond to the patient's pre-existing conditions as well as the report. Those two tools make the piece very useful. And on top of that, which I was talking to Michael last night about is the compliance that this report brings, you know, um, having, having something that's, that's been checked against the LCD and made sure that the that the right ICD-10 codes are matched, matched up with the right symptoms um, gives you more, for the physicians, at least in a billing situation, it gives them a lot more confidence. So. Two things. One is we intend to include this in our package for each patient. Uh, and secondly, that thing that's on my screen right now, yeah, I would love to have that package because I'll tell you, for marketing, which, uh, which I... I, I'm going to be marketing this. That that right there would make a great postcard. I can tweak that. Uh, I'm sending it to you right this second. Okay, I I love I I should have had this on the current uh, postcard. Yep. Yeah. Validation for validation for additional uh, next step testing. I I, I mean, fully <laughs> apologize. Did, great. Not, I literally just got it out myself, um, and. Uh, over the last probably week and a half. And okay. I, should have, I should have brought it to your attention last week. So I'm really, really sorry about that. Well, our, my postcards are going out. We're, 
I, we were going to listen today, and the, we need to get started on this cash model uh, marketing. Uh, we we have no confidence that the billing issue is going to be resolved, and we we just can't sit uh, do nothing. So oh, yeah, I just said that to you. Um, no, I I feel you. Uh, is Michael still on the call? Yes, he is. Uh, no, he's not. Oh, oh, I see I, oh, Michael, you on the call? His name's on there. I see his name. Because I was going to have him do the, I was going to have him do the interpretation for you really quickly, so you, he, you can see how it would affect your reports. Chris, do you do you know how to run the? Um, or do you have a login for P so I can just show these guys? Or we have about thirty more minutes, so I wanted to take them through. Um, we've been working on J, getting Jay's reports reval or re run through the Peace platform. And Thomas, can we buy a package uh, of peace reports? We're going to be, we're starting to market this. We're probably going to be doing a demo. And I, I'll buy a package uh, of a number of tests. So we, it's up and ready and ready to go. Um, like I said, we're going to. You know, I mean, what we can do, Tom, you know, is we can. I mean, there's a bunch of test reports in there, Tom. Well, Those things can be downloaded and just given to John. I mean, because they're, they're test reports. Wait, wait, wait. Test in, in, in uh, uh, itself. No, I thought, Jay, you wanted to be able to have them to, to use for your When we go into an office, we'll test somebody in the office. Yeah. And that report is more meaningful because of somebody they know. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I think we just need I to turn them and, and get them some... I mean, if they're marketing it, we just need to get them some some credits or something, and and yeah, get well, them up on. I, I'm willing to buy them because you know. Either way, free in life, and we'll pay for pay for what we need, but we have to have a, we got to have a way of going forward. I'm gonna try to call Michael real quick and try to get him on this call because I I know that he's definitely. Well, I mean, I guess what I'm asking, and I know I haven't been on as many calls as Jay, but. Maybe somebody walk us through how it's supposed to work from start to finish. Exactly. Not, oh, we got this now, nah, right but we maybe we'll get oh, Michael, to it. You know, I mean, yeah, I've been on. Okay, well, we've been saying your name multiple times, so um, yeah, I heard it. Oh, okay. you didn't ask me to step in. Oh, cool. <laughs> Except to talk about the report, but we Chris has some stuff to say, so I was just waiting. Okay, so why don't we? Hi, everybody. We have. I, did check I, have in. Jay's, I guess nobody heard me. I have Jay's reports. He sent them yesterday. So can we, or John sent them yesterday. Can we, can we do what we've been talking about for the last three weeks and, and plug them into peace and then go through it? We have about 27 minutes. Um, or can we schedule something here. and actually do it? No, 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 hold on. Go ahead, Michael. Can we? Um, I can put it in, but I've got to have the actual physical PDF report. I've got them. I mean, I could do it on my screen if you just want, want, want to talk me through it. I emailed it to you as well, Mike. Yeah, Michael, you got them too. Yeah, I think I've got it right here. All right, let's go. Uh, you're going to be on Zoom, so let's go that route. Do you, but okay. Do you have the ability? So what you want to do is you. I, yeah, I, I can tell screen, you how to right? get in. Yeah. Okay. I can tell I you how to get in. Okay. All right, hold on one second. Okay. Let me get my. Uh, I have my logins. Hold on one second. You guys can see my browser, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Google. And Rick, this will be really good for you to see. Um, okay. Peace video rates. Demo calendars. Are awesome. Let me see where my login going. Oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Is it the is it the dev portal? It's uh, back office. Back dot office. Okay. Peace yeah. portal okay. Dot com. okay, here we go. All right. Cool. All right. And we did uh so we do Ruby's hospital, uh, 
ruby.hospitals login or which no, login? No, no, no. It's uh, you you want to get in and, and look at the report, right? Yeah. I mean, load the report. Yeah. Which... And put in, um, you're going to put, you don't, I don't know where Ruby came in, but uh, you put in robin.hood. Okay. At gmail. I mean, at uh, yachtmail.com. Okay. okay. And the password is capital P and then Paul at symbol, small letters, SS0987. Is that the right email? Why? Oh, WAP, WAP mail, sorry. Okay, cool. Sorry about that. Now you just uh, if you've got the report handy yep. and in a place where you can grab it, yep. the file, you scroll down to the bulk upload section. Uh, your part of your screen is off right now. Yeah, right here, bulk, bulk upload. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now you put in a file, put a file location. Got them. Then you upload all. No, no, go up. No, no, don't just jump. You got to go up there. Put, select your location. Okay. Go on that, and then file type is six point one. Okay. So this is probably what confuses people right here. Um, okay, go ahead and then upload all. Yep. Uh, Need it. I mean, I'm lost. It's not time to ask that question, but I'll, I'll ask that question later about the confusion. Okay, they're checked in. So I go back to the dashboard. Now you go, well, we're you're checked in. Now you're going to go ahead and submit down here. Oh, submit. Okay, that's, other, that's also confusing. Just FYI, let's take note of all that. Um, okay, and then check all these, and then check this, right? These two boxes, and then click on the um, search practice for the doctor up above. Okay, also confusing. All right, and then we do Lisa or Bill, or John. I'm gonna use John. Okay. Confirm. Okay. And submit it. Submit. Okay, cool. Please about. 25 to 30 seconds to do one or 50 or anywhere. It does. The, the only downside, I'm just going to give you constructive feedback is that it's a little counterintuitive from just from a normal software user's perspective. I think that's probably why um, practices might be getting confused on it. Okay. So what happens now? Hey, Michael, Michael, Chris, yeah. I don't mean to interrupt, but we, we've got to get that out. I've been getting my phones blowing up. Can we reschedule this? Just tell me what to do and I'll just take it from here. Where's it going to show up? Okay, so you got to uh, um, go in and we, it's loaded here. There's two reports. We've got to wait for about three minutes for that to clear up. Okay. And then they'll it's load uploaded, the right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to show up into nope. what, what the? In the approved area. Approved, okay. And then I can go in and look at them, right? Well, personally, I just need a moment to finish up something we were working on uh, on an invitation. That's all that has to happen. You guys can stay on the line for a minute while I finish that up. That's yeah. I just haven't finished up. Go ahead. I've got it ready to go. Just about so. Hey Thomas, what's your phone number again? Uh, it's uh three two three four four nine eight zero one one. So you can see them, they're uploaded right here and they're gonna eventually, I guess after a couple minutes, they're gonna go into the approved section. And then we can take a look at That's them. right, it takes about three minutes. Yeah. You know, from start to finish through everything.
Will they just auto populate, Michael, or do we have to refresh? No, they'll auto populate. You you can speed try to speed the process up since we're you know trying to just get through here quickly, but you they they do it automatically. Everything yeah, that's fine. Through automatically. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. This is part of the process. I think John wanted to see this because that you'll you'll see. I guess this is kind of what the 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 whole. Here we go. One of them just made it over. Um, this is what we're really selling, right? I think so. Well, it's. Uh, does it go to the, it goes to the end or the beginning? Uh, Cause I don't see Kuhn in there. It's the very first one. Oh, there it, it is. A okay, cool. Clear through. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So that, so we can view report now, right? Pardon? A view report. Yeah, review report. Just okay. let me finish this up real quick. Yeah, no problem. I really apologize. It's no, it's all right. I can show weird them this. things happen today. I can show them this. Okay, so here we go, Jay. So right. you, have your, you have your TM flow on the left. Yep. And then on the right, you have all of your um the different tabs. So you have your patient details that has all your stuff in there. Then the doctor, this would be, I think the tech would be still inputting this. So we would basically put all of your symptoms right here. So if you have diabetes, PVD, any of this stuff, COVID, this is all stuff that the tech is going to in, insert, right? Mm -hmm. These, this is kind of like your, your intake form. Okay. So this establishes medical necessity. Um. And then that, once you've done that, then it has, this is your encounter form. This is already, this, this shows the ICD-10 codes based on the report. Okay. And it also mentions the health risks right there. You've got your super bill. If you're going to do obesity counseling, you've got your med med or your validated diagnostic tests oh, yeah. with the ICD-10 codes. So these are all the things that you have a potential um, for based on this result. These results. They're going to stick your ass on the tread treadmill, Jay. Hey Chris, while they're doing while they're going through this with him, um, Chris, take a look at on the any desk you're on it still, and make sure that's okay, and I'll send it out. And then lab tests right here. So this is, I mean, this is gold for a practice right here. By the way, this is a bill. This is potential billing for the practice. Is Validated it? billable tests. So again, yeah. if you're doing a cash model, the the the, the practice should be paying you for the fucking report. Yeah. Well, they are paying us for the report. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're charging them for it. Yeah. So it's, just, mean, uh, it's in a package. Yeah. So, so, so that's, I mean, to me, I think that this is kind of your angle. Yeah. And we can print this out uh, for the doctor. Yeah. That's the, that's the other test that I keep on showing you. It comes out as a, as a, as it's printed. It's the, um, and I don't want to like mess around in, in the software too much because I, I don't want to get off, but I'll, I'll show you the, the, the last screen share I did with you. It, um, let me do it. That's fine, Michael. Let's uh, put in. Um, so, the, Jay, this isn't right at the front. This isn't your um, your report, but this and is what then, comes and out. And just leave it with with peace introduction. So if you see if you see this report. It has the TM flow, like this would be your report, right, Jay? And then and then it has all of the other stuff on it. Okay. So that's- How many pages is the piece report? It's 19. Wow, big report. Yeah. So I we're mean, gonna hand somebody 30 pages? Well, no, because it contains the, the, the TM flow report already. But if you look at this report, let's just like go through it. I mean, well, it, the report can be that robust, or it can be a report on the encounter form in conjunction with um, um, 
other information like obesity and everything else and, and break them down. They give you lots of choices, whether you do the entire robust report, which goes into the EMR, or whether you do a portion of it like the encounter form and or you, the obesity counseling or other uh, tests, all those things can be broken down accordingly. So you're not going right in with a ro robust report if you don't want to. You have the, all those options. So, it's, so and, it's basically, and when would we be trained on this? Or are we figuring this out on our own? No, 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 no. no. You will train. be trained without question. Come on, man. <laughs> We're not going to leave you hanging. <laughs> you can't say that out loud. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing well, my, I can. my best for you, man. Like, I, I'm not Lewis, and and I know Matt's, Matt's got his own set of issues, but I'm telling you, like, I won't. I'm committed to trying to get you guys going. So. Chris, while we're interrupting I, you, I appreciate the that. Name of the yeah, I know. It's just, it's just lip, so, lip service at this point. What's that? Right. Put the name of the association in at the front. Name, we're done. I don't understand what you're saying. I think they're I'm working on Chris something now. Quick. Oh, sorry. I'm trying sorry. to get this dang e email out so we can get oh, back to the Oh, it's all right. Sorry, Michael. Michael. Okay, so John, yeah, sorry to be confusing, but yeah, I this you're gonna get training on this, and you know, you guys are part of the crew, so I'm sure we'll work something out with you on getting you guys going with it. So. Um, oh my goodness, we train every we train every single group, every person that's involved with these things. We train them. Yeah. Thomas, one of the tools. There's no question. You, you know, and, and we retrain, and we retrain, and we work with our clients. We have videos. We do follow-ups. We stay on top of coding. We get with the billers. We get with the doctors. We get with the, we get with the uh, uh, technicians. We teach them all, all the integration between all the systems, and we show them all the ins and outs, and we teach them how to read the encounter form and make the adjustments. We go through an extremely good, solid training on, on what's done, and then we have videos that shows them how they can enter the stuff into the system. Thomas, we use a cheat sheet, something as simple as a medical necessity in a chart note. You can't believe how doctors can screw it up. Oh, we yeah. We have a cheat sheet that is right there by the person completing the, the document on how to, how to do a medical necessity step-by-step. Step. And that program was a little bit complicated that you, you you recognize it. A cheat sheet would be a valuable tool so somebody could follow along and go step-by-step step to make sure they get in there and get to where they want to do and do what they want to do. So a cheat sheet would take a little bit of time to put together. We did it and it really helped us. Are you talking about for the peace platform? Yeah. Yeah, we have a video. We have two. We have three videos that, that take you through it. Um, I suggest a, a, a written one that you can put right on the wall, right next to the person working. So, like a like it just it tells you how to go step by step through the path to, through the um, through the software. Y yes. Okay. We can uh, make that. It, it, keep, keep it. Hey, simple. Michael, can you send that out? Yeah. Would you do me a favor? Check the email yeah. addresses. Make sure that totally. Right. Jay, I got you on that. Okay. Are we all set? Um, well, the only thing I was going to say uh, is um, <sighs> to get you printouts of this report from Peace. Now that we have your we have your um, reports in here. Yeah, Jay, wouldn't you want a copy to give it to your doctor? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and by the way. I just I just left my podiatrist this morning. They did a PAD test on me, and the the test the results are, are a lot of indicators, and it's very hard to read and understand. Is exactly what was wrong with the A and with our testing. The P solved the problem. They have the same problem with the testing that the the uh, podiatrist. Good, Michael. And I'm going to actually be taking my report to the cardiologist and to the podiatrist because I'm going to use it to try to sell both of them. But I, I don't think either of them could bill. So it's going to be a cash model, and that makes it more difficult. 
Yeah. Um, Michael, I think you're muted, but I was going to say, if you could just coach me real quick on how to print these out for Jay, um, that way I can send them to him. Uh, and then we can, um, Jay can go through them and then, or we can go through them on another call um, since we're running out of time. I got your postcard. Uh, thanks. I got your postcard thing, uh, Thomas. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Hey, Rick, what's up? So question, because we, we touched on this early here and, you know, I don't have anybody up here in Washington state that's actually running this or doing this yet. And I heard of a clawback on one of these CPT codes, which, which one of these CPT codes is there? Are they not, are they not playing with right now? What, what is the holdback on the CPT code? Michigan. This is Michigan. So there, we don't know what's going on in Washington or on the West coast, right? Don't believe you're having the same problem we're having. Uh, Pseudo motor, it, it's the one that pays the most money. And uh, it, you have to be a neurologist to build that in Michigan. I don't believe that's true in Oregon, but that would be something you, you'd have to check out in Oregon. Or Washington. Okay. Or Washington, yeah. Well, you know, Washington's one of the best states. You know, we, we pay the highest here in Washington. So that's, you know, that's, I think that's a good thing here. Um, and I was just looking at the codes here. So we're still good for the three CPT codes up here in Washington, right? I mean, I, I, I have any problems. Michael, and, you're, you're muted. Uh, I don't know how to unmute you. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would do it. Yeah. So 95923 pays 410. Is that my understanding? Which one? 95923. Pays how much? 410. I, I, I don't know that. Um, I can look it up for you real quick. Hold on one second. Actually, I'll show you guys how to do this from our website. It's actually really useful. Hold on one second. So on our website, if you go to Gateway Clinical and you go, this is a good sales tool. If you go to resources, practice, practice benefits and you scroll to CMS locality lookup, you click on there, begin search, accept, and then we're gonna do list of codes, nine, five, nine, two, three, nine, three, nine, two, three, nine, five, nine, two, one. I always just do the global so I don't get a bunch of them. And then we'll do a specific locality. What's your locality? Is it Seattle? Yeah, Bellevue. Yeah, Seattle. Okay. Um, search these. And then here you go. So 95923 is a 153.44. So altogether, it's looking like it's close to 400. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's that's that'll, that'll, that'll be the big question. You know, the, the big question is, is what is it built? You know, they, they always want to know what it's billable for, you know, what is the, yeah. what will, what will the seat be, you know, and how bad are the clawbacks? Yeah. So I don't, I, I just downloaded this. All Can email. you do that for ours? See what it says. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got? What's your locality? Detroit. So yours are way lower um, to about 340. And that's what, that's about where we thought it would be. Yeah. So I'm going to email that to you right now, Jay, and then I'll email the other one to you, Rick. Uh, and Rick, it's not just the billing codes uh, for the ANS. When that report is done, the piece report is going to have recommendations for a lot more billing. Understood. And by the way, that's just as important as the billing code for the ANS because it's a lot more billing opportunities 
and they don't even know those exist without a report like this. That's correct. That, that's why it's a big deal. <laughs> Rick, what's your email? Um, I'm rdbluemoon2 at aol.com. Oh, that's right. I got you right here. Sorry. And I did send you my package this morning, so I hope you got it. Yeah, I'm just behind on administrative work right now. You're, yeah, I understand. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Jay, um, because I can't hear Michael, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you, uh, uh, I'm going to email you these reports. I'll just call them and, and I'll, I'll download them and I'll email them to you. And then... Um, if you guys want to implement this, then we'll get you set up for training. Cool. Is there anybody else have anything? I'm going to shut the meeting down. No, I just Thanks appreciate it. I, I, I really day. thank you for having this meeting. These are, I think they're valuable and it gives us a place to, you know, talk about the system and what's important. So thank you for your time. Yeah. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. All right. I'll, I'll put, I'm going to post the recording online too. Um, and then I'll, uh, Jay, I'll, I'll get back to you with those reports. Great. Thanks, John. Thank you, everybody. Nice to have your personality around, John. I, I love how, how uh, direct and, and, um, and how just basically how direct you are. I love it. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you guys later.